Hey everybody, Tom Joy from Visionary Music Group here. We're continuing with our Demo to Master series, our first song, My Heart by Mike Kelly. This is video number two. We're going to talk about guitars, new keyboards, how we got Mike to do his vocals at home, and that whole process. All right, so session number five in my pre-pro setup. So here is the chorus and the guitars that I did replacing Mike's guitar. Start with a kiss, start with a kiss, start with a kiss. Just for you, you could say I'm sort of obsessed with you, like I'm on some. So let's let's solo them and check it out. Here's the first one. Okay, so that is just a strumming part, and it says FX because I probably had some processing you could hear on there. So this is my Tyler Strat, which pick up. Uh, compressor, Boss GE7, RSA 23 amp, and the liaison is a uh, my Dangerous Music uh, routing box. So I had the API compressor on it, and uh, and also some EQ. My Tone Lux EQs. So let's see this. What this guy is. So this is a, a double which is a little more compressed than no phase or anything like that. And that's through my matchless. And here's the two. So that's a cool little funky wah-wah part. And the idea of that was to add some rhythm to the basic thing that Mike had. I wanted to, you know, create some movement in the chorus. We have this great, like, downbeat action with the kicks and then the snares and the claps. So the guitars are playing some of the, the funky stuff, but it's static with the pad. So I needed another one to counter melody in there just to sort of make it a little, a little groove, almost like this is a hi-hat. First thing I did was filter. So. I must have played this dry and then wanted to add it. Let's see what it sounds like with it. Just kind of sits here without it. So here's all the... Up the game a little bit from what Mike had, you know, not just in terms of sounds, but in terms of now parts and movement. I Let's hear these guys all together. And then we have this slicer. So now here's all the guitars. So we see we have some parts added here. Let's check those out. So I added some acoustic piano. This is Easy Keys. I love the tune track stuff. They do a really good job. This is their grand piano with the Swedish pop preset. It's cool. It's a little brighter. And then this is some kind of reverse thing they did to make this little dreamy pad thing, which is kind of cool. Very simple. Just a little foundation. So that's all new in this in this pre-pro section, kind of building the chorus a little more. Verse two, the dream pad piano play. So then we have some other guitars down here. 
This is like a little transitional thing, a little wah wah fall. Session number six, which is some more guitars, and most likely I would say it's probably going to fill out the other parts of the song. So let's check that out. Picking, percussive, not cording. Let's check out that whole thing in context. So here's a part. This is kind of a standardized thing for me. Um, we have the reverse piano. I'll do a reverse power chord to sort of zip us up into the chorus. Let's check it out. Swell. So I just play the chord. Reverse it, put a swell on it, and then do an automation pan. So I was being lazy. I didn't, I didn't really switch the guitar. I was, I was on a roll with that Strat. Uh, that was through a Marshall and a couple of pedals. So that's just a low, you know, power chords. Then these guys came in to give it a little extra something. Let's see what that is. Probably accentuating the hook. And then I have my Wawa -Wah Falls going out. Come. So now in verse two, we have that really cool Wawa -Wah fall off with the echo. And we, we have the piano pad come in. So here's where I, I wanted to have some things kind of giving that a little more attention or feeling. So here's the chorus and the second verse, all the guitars happening. Check this out. So even the echoes trailing give you a nice feeling of transition from section to section. All right, cool. So that's session six, all of the guitars so far. Okay, so session number seven. So we can see here the acoustic piano from the last session. That was MIDI I printed because I knew we were keeping it. Uh, the reverse pianos were printed. And then let's see what this is. All right, so here's where the here's where the new stuff happened. Mike said he was hearing some horn things, and he had some ideas that he played for me on guitar, and I liked a bunch of them, so I took them and I modified them. So that's the first one, and the Oberheim. I mean, this is my '80s preset now. Cool. Okay, so here are all our, our keyboards now for the chorus. It's 
So we're going to open our next session, session eight, when we get we start getting into the new lead vocal. So while this is opening, I'm going to mention that I have a video with a before and after comparison of the finished production and the initial demo, which is really cool because I do like four bars of, of the, the original four bars of what we ended up with. So it's an instantaneous comparison, which is kind of fun. So now you'll see here it says vocal and it says calm. So underneath it, there's four takes of lead vocals. So what I do is I just take pieces and comp it together into one continuous take. And you see there might be comp two, you know, might have been a, a few tries at it. He may have went back and re-sang a few things. So what I usually do is once I get the comp the way I want it, then I'll tune it with Melodyne and eventually I'll print it. And then I'll split out the, the vocal in sections. So the verse, the chorus, the pre-chorus. So that way I don't have to ride the automation anymore. Okay, on all of these vocals, what I have done is I've taken it in and I've processed it using some plugins like Oak Sound Soothe to take out the harshness, some EQ to take out rumble, some multiband compression if it's needed, just a tiny bit. Then I print through my Manly Elop compressor. Uh, a little bit of my API compressor, mainly for tone, and some Tone Lux EQ or Bax EQ. Then I will tune it. This is after I comped it, of course. So I have one continuous track. I print it, move it, and do that. So you can really hear the difference. So now what I'm hearing at this point, we got to dig in and we got to start doing doubles and and uh, and some harmonies for, for Mike to do. So that's the next session, which will be session nine. So let's pop that open, and then we'll uh, we'll see how that is. So let's take a peek. So you can see here, here's some of the things I printed the vocal through that I was discussing before. So in, in, in Mike's case, I used the Soothe plugin. Here it is. And then I, I have a Pultec, Manly Pultec. API 2500 I used. That's not my normal vocal chain, but for some reason it really worked on him. Uh, a little bit of de I don't want to do too much. See, it's a tiny bit there. So this was my bass line to get his to sound better. Um, and you can see I didn't use as much as I mentioned I have done on some other people, so that's pretty good. So he, he dialed it in pretty nicely. So let's go through and take a listen to what we ended up with with all these vocals. Bear in mind, he's just dry. So what I decided to do was have like a call and response. On certain lines, he would solo in the verse, and then he would do a double, and the double might sit, you know, mono right beneath him. Because I don't want to spread the whole thing out. In the and then in the second half of the verse, he had two lines of harmony. So let's go to the pre-chorus. One, two, three. You coming with me, you coming with me, you coming with me. Four, five, six. Start with a kiss, start with a kiss, start with a kiss. So he had a cool idea of putting these whispers in, so we did that. So you can see I try to keep everything limited to renaming the session and making it a new session each time. So this way I can always keep track and I can always go backwards. So that was part two of My Heart, Mike Kelly, Demo to Master. Please subscribe. We could use your support. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more videos like this coming. Thanks again. Stay tuned for the next video, number three, where we'll cover all the really involved background vocals, sending them to different singers and how we set that up, and then getting ready to mix in the final mix session.